What's up guys, welcome to the second part of this video. If you haven't seen the previous video, please do. I'll go ahead and put like a link right over here. So please do check that out. It talks about some important safety aspects. But if you're coming to us from the first part, this is the second part of my hunting with my brother. So right now we're just gonna head to the lake down there and then see if we can, you know, shoot some birds. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I think there's a bunch of geese hanging down there. We just heard uh, about maybe one or two gunshots. So hopefully get some, we don't have a, you know, either retriever because we're going to be on the side of the lake. So if the birds go on top of us, then we'll shoot them. Okay. And we'll see. All right. Let's head out, buddy. Let's go. Uh, I want to say something too. Uh, since we're hunters, uh, also I want to just introduce you to uh, some of the, you know, stuff. If somebody likes, you know, flowers and stuff like that, they can, you know, come here. As you can see, there's a lot of different plants. They can take a look. There's a lot of different trees. Also, there's, uh, you know, a lot of things people can uh, see from uh, spring, summer, and fall, then the winter. You know. Well, yeah, it's fall now, so you're going to have different... Different looks, different... Uh, yeah, it's going to look different. I think I know what you're saying. It just looks going to look pretty, like those yellow flowers. You're not going to see that. God knows how long that's going to stay there. Maybe for like next week or so, it'll be gone. Two weeks, that's Yeah. It. I mean, yeah, definitely. Nature is beautiful. Nature is beautiful. I mean, if we take a look here, it's like, I don't even know what kind of flowers there are, but it's beautiful. Like, you can see... I don't either know, but, you know, whoever enjoys the plants, who likes to take a photo of them, they can yeah, it's come beautiful. over, you know. It's it's a beautiful place. So you can see the bee. Yeah, bees are it's, like, I love bees. You know. They're really nice. Friends, yep, so. definitely. You know. It's it's beautiful. Nature is definitely beautiful, no doubt. Yeah, like I'm just a, you know, not a hunter and an enthusiast for outdoors. You know, I just want to show you know a little bit more of uh, you know, mother nature. You know. This part has been a long time, uh, you know, my hunting ground. Uh, you know, my brother, so today we just started, so we'll see if there's anything for us to see here to hunt. But, you know, this uh, beautiful place uh, to hunt rabbit. You know, if the kids come on over, they can hunt uh, with the 20 gauge, with the 410. So it's pretty kids friendly, you would say, right? Oh yeah, actually kids can come on over you know, play around, uh, and they can also, you know, adapt themselves to, to this place, this gorgeous place, you know. You know, they can come on over, bring the, bring the dogs to train, uh, walk, drive a bike, you know, enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, absolutely. I agree, and it's a beautiful day. It's a little hot, though. Oh, yeah, I 81. <laughs> it's a little hot, but the humidity is not that bad, so... That's a good thing. I appreciate you uh, kind of... Uh, Taking me with you on this. Oh, not a problem. You know, anytime, you know, you feel, uh, you know, you want to go, we can go. It's it's up to you, you know, just bring over the cameras. We'll show definitely the good. people what uh, the hunt really means. And how hardcore I am when it comes to rabbit season. Rabbit season, that's when it's going to be really fun, right? Oh, yeah. Because a lot of times we let go about me and my colleagues. We got I got six dogs. He's got six dogs. So I got four females and two males. That's I wow. Mean, you I have six dogs, dogs, huh? So no, that's not got, a lot. He's got uh, three females and three, three boys. So well, we're gonna bring them along, right? Yeah, but not all of them. We're gonna you know combine them. We're gonna usually use two females, maybe three and one or two meals okay why is it a females better at hunting uh yes actually they are uh we have uh two dogs which i have uh, at my house uh, when we left uh, i have the oldest dog her name is lily and uh, she's the slowest slowest one she really goes slow through all of this brush in front of me and any kind of brush she can go in she's really slow then i got a friend of mine uh, girl, her name is Shara. She goes through, also makes 
you know, sure, there's not nothing left behind Lily, Bobby, Buddy, and other dogs, they just go straight for him. So, it's so it's a, it's a mix mixed bag basically of what dogs gonna do. All every dog's different. Yeah, but uh, like when you hear Lily, her bark is like really loud, but let let the other dogs know, hey, look, I'm a female dominant. Oh, so, so she's like a. She's like an alpha. She's alpha dog. Yeah, she's alpha female. So she's letting alpha female, and she's uh, the oldest one. Yeah. So she lets him know, hey, look, follow me. She's the leader. Right, right. So uh, when she goes first, Shara follows. Then goes my dog, the, the younger boy. Then goes Bobby, and they follow each other. But soon as soon as you hear Shara's, uh, you know, scream, then ready, ready to rock and roll. Because rabbits is like two seconds away. Yeah. But if you hear Lily and the Bobby, they're like, I don't know, maybe a minute away. Because like here, see, as you can see, these trees right here. A lot of, a lot of rabbit. Like here, there's uh, like rabbit fur. As you can see. This here? Yeah. Somebody. I don't think this is not rabbit. This oh, is yeah. just seats. No, that's not rabbit fur. I'm telling you. I'm, thi I'm thinking it is. Either that's no, a hawk. So, anyway, uh, this is a good place to hunt. Like I may, you know, mentioned, and I'm mentioning it again. Kids friendly. You can come. You know, beautiful to be out. Definitely. Well, let's head on because I heard gunshots. So I really want to get to that lake so we can get some uh, action sure, going at I'm least. A, I'm already for it. So let's see. Okay, there's a cut up right there. So leads to the lake. Okay. It's really closer. It used to be cut up on my left, but it's not a bush. So either or, it's no no big of the deal. Okay. On my left, I'm gonna show you guys right here. This is a bedding area for deer. There's a lot of deer laying down. Also right there in front of me, where those uh, yellow flowers are. There's a lot of deer. Oh yeah, there's a a definitely. Deer. I mean, I work nearby, so. I know I always have to like, especially at night, stop for the deer because, you know, like on the highway, they like, they get on the highway, try to, like a herds, I've seen herds. Oh yeah, I've seen the herds, I've seen a old buck about uh, maybe 10, 11, 12 points here. Last year I've seen a lot of bucks, like 6, 8, 9 points, big, big bucks. But here you can't hunt them unless you get like a draw, drawing, like you go through a drawing. You have to go to the drawing through Augustine Bush. And that's just pop, that's like a, like a, just kind of a control uh, to like yeah. population of them, right? Because there's too many of them. That's the only reason. Uh, not exactly. Uh, due to the simple hunting uh, solution, they want to uh, give uh, certain numbers of hunters opportunity to shoot a uh, uh, buck or a doe. It's called any deer ticket. So you can shoot either sex. But the thing is, uh, you can shoot them, but only you cannot shoot them with this. That's not legal. So shotgun? Shotgun, no. Well, okay. Only you could shoot them rifle, or you can come on over, bring a slug gun, slug gun only. And also there's a bunch of stands across the lake, which a lot of people use a bow to hunt the bow. But again, you have to be drawn for a bow. You apply here in uh, Missouri Department of Conservation. And what are these? You what is this? Like some kind of tracks? Uh, deer tracks? These are tracks of the deer. They're deep in. Uh, maybe two days old. And they're dry. So deer is close by. Oh man, you can really see how hot it is. If you look over there, you can see the like reflection of the reflection heat. Of the, of the heat. But you know, it's not that bad because... Oh, oh yeah, summer was bad. Oh, uh, summer was just extreme. Actually, it's still... Is it still summer? No, it's September, right? Yeah, September 3rd. Okay, so I think it's still technically summer, but... It's been awfully hot and... Being 80-something 80, 80 now... 81. 81. It's actually not that bad because we had hundreds. 100 degree weather. 105 sometimes. Yeah, for like seems like three or four months straight and humidity was just extreme and 
I couldn't. It, it was just like ridiculous. Yeah. So this is not bad. Although we are sweating, but still not not bad, considering. Although we are sweating, but still not, not bad, considering. Yeah, in uh, June, uh, June uh, when I uh, started the school season, I went with my buddy in uh, Dallon Creek, down on I-70, and it was really bad and hot. So, you know, that's really bad. Yeah, you don't want to get dehydrated or something. Well, so far, like, we saw some birds, but I don't think there were doves or anything. Uh -oh. So, we, I'm hoping we get somebody by that lake. Looks like if, if, we, if we do get something, it'll be by that lake. Yeah, uh, because uh, I'm expecting, like, uh, ge geese to show up. And uh, uh, this is, uh, I'm going to show you the tree. Like, right here, the special tree, uh, which a lot of deer comes over, graze on it. And right there, that one. About uh, last year, November, late November, maybe December, uh, I had a, a confrontation, you can say, with a big coon. I uh, jumped a tree and uh, didn't want to come down, but, uh, you know, I had it as a trophy, so might as well. Yeah. So is that why that tree is, is dried up? Because of grazing? Yeah, because a lot of deer comes over and grazes down. And also these small branches, they go around and the uh, deer beds here. Yeah. And uh, all over us, it's practically, as soon as you go toward the lake, there's a deer, deer bedding area. And uh, we try to avoid a, a, a deer because uh, we hunt with the dogs a lot from October 1st up to February 15th. So that's the season in, and uh, you know we try to push them not too far from us. We use uh, shot collars to call them back. I mean, we have to. Yeah. We have to because if they go far down, I mean half a mile away from us. Oh, nice. Right oh, man. That's a big lake. I think I've been to this lake once a long time ago. There's a stork over there. A big stork. I know. Really over there. All the way over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's really far. I'm having trouble seeing it. Man, yeah, that's the white stork. Man, it's a beautiful lake, man. Oh, yeah. It's huge. It goes about a mile. Look at this. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you. Right oh, man. Of look at this. There's a fisherman right there across from us. Oh, my God. Look at this. It's beautiful. Uh, oh, man. That's algae and. Uh, I think uh, that's beautiful. The fishermen are getting worn. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking they're fishing. Yeah, the guys over there. Yeah, they're fishing. But this wow. is a beautiful lake. There's a lot of big mouth, small mouth bass, crappie. You can uh, get a lot. Uh, there's a plate right there. Uh, if you wouldn't turn around, there's a red truck. There's a parking lot where the stork is. Oh, over there. 
yeah and actually there's a place how much you can catch and um, that's pretty much beautiful lake though have fun cast it's nice man this looks really nice i'm surprised that the, that the algae i guess the water receded yep water receded water, water was up here where i'm standing now when there was a rain right here where i'm standing at so water got down when it was hot so algae is still here real <coughs> A lot of birds. See? You hear that thing? It sounds like a cat again, but it's not. It's a damn bird. Yeah. <laughs> it's a damn bird. It's, uh, oh, <coughs> mockingbird? It, but, uh, Is it a mockingbird? Yeah, yeah. It's a mockingbird. Yeah, it's a mockingbird. It imitates every, everything. So. Man, this is nice. Oh, yeah. This lake is beautiful. Look, something came up there. Yep. That's the river otter. Is it? Yep. Comes over, dies down. So as you see, human, adios. They are legal to shoot. They are? Yep. Legal to shoot. But otters are so cute. Oh, they are cute though, but uh, they are pests for a fish. A lot of fish. Well, yeah, I mean, they are animals. Yep. They are killing a fish. Well, there is a many one. Yeah, like I said, you know, you can bring over a rod. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, like I said, you know, you can bring over the rods, oh. put it in the lake, and have fun. Uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, where I shot my uh, uh, gray wall. As you can see, the corner, the right there, and there's about about 80 yards from from uh, us now. Gray wall came by about uh, three years ago, <coughs> and I was with uh, a bunch of buddies, so comes over they shot everybody shot at it missed it I got them with the last shot hit the pond right here ah so that was fun and uh, my friends got mad at me I said hey man it's a sport <laughs> and it was funny so it's another stork flying I know storks uh, come here a lot for for uh, fish you know they catch a lot of fish so there you can say cleaning the nature. Yep. Yeah. It's definitely nice. Другу стан проч. No. No. These are these little fish are coming up. Yeah, now there are fish here. I know those are little fish. What Watch out. Wow, this looks really cool. This moss, or not moss, but the algae stuff. Wow, that looks really cool. When it dries up. And as you can see, I say uh, you can bring kids over, they can do fishing, they can do, you know, enjoy themselves. Full sun reflection there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Nice. Yeah. As you can see, this part where we're standing at is still wet. So you receded recently. Is that a stork over there? Yeah, that's a stork. It's catching little fish and... Uh, How close do you think we can get? Because I, I would like to get a nice close-up. Oh, I don't know. It depends. Uh, depends if it, if it sees us. Up, but. Oh, man, look at that corner. No, that's a stork, right? Oh yeah, my god. Join us on the third part as me and my brother struggle through the torrents oh, and woods as if approaching that's Maleficent's castle. So she's she's illegal to be shot. Well, that's okay. I'm not gonna shoot it. I'm just letting you know.